Welcome aboard the Black Hawk. You're gonna have a beautiful day here today. Couldn't be better. Nice and calm, pretty good fishing. Hopefully everybody have a great time. My last Buzzards Bay video got deleted for copyrighted music that I could barely even hear apparently. So, gotta get another Porgy video on the channel on the Black Hawk out of Niantic, Connecticut. Let's head now first thing in the morning. Porgy trip, maybe some sea bass. Got two trained killers here. Ronnie and Mikey. How you feel, Mikey? I feel good. Yeah? Coming for that big fish pot, maybe. 235 bucks? Hey, it's just heavy Ronnie. duty. Heavy duty perch fishing. What's that? Have you ever caught a porgy? Never caught a porgy. Oh my god. Alright guys, so as we get ready to start fishing here, I'm going to give you guys some tips that are going to help you catch a ton of porgies if you go out on a party boat like this. Porgies aren't really hard to catch, but there are some people that manage to still really struggle with it. So there are some subtle things you can do that will greatly increase your catch rate and it'll be the difference between you you know maybe catching a few or a dozen fish to filling a cooler so we are fishing out near fisher's island in about 40 feet of water we are on the black hawk as i mentioned we've done a few trips on the black hawk party boat now out of connecticut and it is an awesome boat i highly recommend them great captain great crew we always have a good time with them and they put you on the fish so you want to have a pretty heavy rod that can handle a heavy sinker i'm fishing a seven foot dark matter heavy fast action rod i have that outfitted with a accurate reel and 20 pound braid i'm fishing suffix 832 that's my favorite braid if you can find it it's really high quality and not super expensive i do definitely recommend using braid for your main line for doing this type of fishing it's going to help you feel the bites especially if you're fishing deep there's no stretch in that braid so you're going to feel those bites a lot better and it's also going to help you with your hook sets you'll be able to stick them as soon as you feel those bites the other thing is you want to fish really good sharp hooks i really like the berkeley fusion 19 finesse hooks like a size one or a one aught is going to work really well for porgy fishing and i tie all of my high low rigs with those hooks whether it be for surf fishing or bottom fishing like this and we're just set up with some simple high low rigs we have a 10 ounce bank sinker on the bottom and just a couple dropper loops i'll tie up above that and just clip one end of the dropper loop and tie on one of those fusion 19 hooks and that'll work well for you those fusion 19s are super sharp and they stay sharp too so if you're grinding through a full day of porgy fish and those hooks are going to stay nice and sharp for you so in this depth of water you don't necessarily need a 10 ounce bank sinker but we are using a 10 ounce bank sinker and when you're on a party boat and there was a ton of people on the boat this day the boat was basically full you want to stay as vertical as possible so that heavy sinker is gonna not only get you to the bottom fast so you can go up and down when the fish are when you're really on top of them and the fish are snapping but it's also going to keep you from getting tangled up with the person that's fishing right next to you it's really important when you're bottom fishing on a party boat like this you want to stay as vertical as possible so make sure you go with a weight that's heavy enough to keep you vertical and obviously it's going to depend on you know the current how the tides moving and all that we didn't have a ton of current we had a little but the 10 ounce bank stickers were keeping us nice and vertical and as I mentioned, you want to make sure you have a rod that can handle that weight of sinker plus a porgy or two. Typically on these porgy trips, they're going to have clam strips out for bait. Sometimes they'll have squid out too, but the clams seem to work really well for the porgy. When you rig your bait onto the hook, you don't want to have a big gaba bait on there. You just kind of want to have a strip and you want to run it through the hook two or three times, kind of almost thread it on that hook. And you don't want a big gob because that'll keep you from being able to set the hook and you don't want a ton hanging off the end because then they're just going to short strike you so just get a nice little strip run it through your hook two or three times and drop it right down to the bottom these fish are going to be on the bottom you want to be able to stay in contact with the bottom so basically you want that bank sinker right on the bottom then the fish are going to come up and grab your bait when they do hit you give them a good hook set and if you miss them drop it back to them because there's probably a pile of them down there 
and you're gonna get bit again if you don't get bit for a little bit it's probably because they got all your baits so bring it up and check your bait if you don't get bit for a little bit when you do stick them you want to just reel with nice steady even pressure they are actually really good at shaking the hook on the way up to the boat for their size porgies actually fight really hard they're going to do a lot of head shaking and dogging on you as you're trying to reel them up and they're really good at throwing that hook so you don't really want to pump them you don't want to like lift and drop your rod as you reel it seems like if you just do a nice even steady pressure it does a better job of keeping those fish hooked up for you i do prefer to tie my high low rigs with fluorocarbon typically 30 or 40 pound fluorocarbon will work well for rigs like this fluorocarbon is a little more invisible down there and it also has better abrasion resistance you don't have to use fluorocarbon you can use mono other than that it's just dropping it down to the bottom staying down there and catching fish guys the only other suggestion i have is definitely bring some ice with you if you go out on a boat like this have a cooler full of ice ready a lot of these party boats they will not have ice on the boat typically you can buy ice at the dock but they won't have it on the boat so make sure when you go out you have a cooler full of ice don't let these fish get warm they are really good eating fish but you have to keep them cold so bleed them if you can get them on ice and they will be really good eating fish so now I'm gonna shut up and we'll get to the fishing oh there he goes Eon. Right, man? Okay. Yeah. All right. Sound awesome. like you're out of breath. Oh, uh, it's floating in the porgy bucket now. <laughs> the towel's gone. It's a, no, it's in the porgy bucket. Yeah, it's swimming in the porgy bucket. It's all good. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm braining and bleeding. I'm <laughs> no more just bleeding. <laughs> I'm right in you, Mikey. Okay. You might grab me on the way down, I don't know. You feel me? No, oh, you're good. Thank you. Where's that? 10 ounce sinker is at the bottom in like four seconds. Bottom rocket. Maybe next year. And don't forget to tip your mate. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I thought you were taking it off. Oh, you want me to? Oh, God, <laughs> Lord. Come on. Gild him. You gotta go back, though. You don't want to touch him. You gotta watch that dorsal spine, man. Yep, that sucker will light you up. Oh, my what do you think? I think that looks pretty decent, man. <laughs> Son of a gun. I think you got us. Yeah, you got, got us. This guy yet. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that one, man. You got a tape up there? You got a tape up there somewhere. Oh, there you go. You got a tail pitch, man. Right? That's on the boom up there. Give him a tail pitch. Oh, he's almost 17. He's yeah. 17. 
What an animal. gallon of bleach and do some rag soaking tonight or maybe some throwing away and then some new rag buying <laughs> yeah bag of rags that's probably the uh smarter play there yeah, it's gotta be a sea bass dude no oh, it's a big porgus oh he's wrapped wrapped Man. Mates will clean your fish for you right on the boat, but just keep in mind the going rate is about a dollar per fish, so that can add up pretty quickly on these porgy trips. Personally, we kept 50 in our cooler. The limit was 30 per person, so we could have kept 90, but we just don't need that much meat. We were here for several days fishing and had limited cooler space, so once we got 50 in our cooler, we did help the people around us get some fish in theirs as well that weren't catching as many. Typically, we'll just have the mates fillet them on the boat for us, and then when we get back to our room, we'll clean them up a little more, dry them off, and repackage them. And we were on a four-day trip here, and by the time we got back, we just kept them nice and cold, packaged in a cooler, and they were still in great shape. Uh, to the guys, gotta get off the boat. Caught a ton of porgies, a couple nice sea bass, a ton of porgies. We only kept 50 and uh, helped some other people fill up their coolers. So let me know what you think. Blackhawk's an awesome boat. Highly recommend them. Captain Greg did a great job. So uh, hit me up in comments, let me know what you think, and I'll catch you next video.